Hi, I'm Irving, and I'm an Adamaniac. Today's cold open reuses some footage from the last time Egghead and Olga came to town, in which a Boy Scout is about to help a little old lady cross the street when the Cossacks appear. We don't see the Cossacks, we just listen to the boy and the lady talk about them. I'll spare you. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, there's nothing going on, my little Peroshki. Nothing to worry your head about. Come back here, you! You can't do this! More and more, I'm coming to believe you can't do that is the dumbest sentence in the English language. We're at the Gotham City Museum where that security guard just confirmed my suspicions about that sentence. Is there silver scimitar of Tarash Bourbon? Never to be pulled out except by rightful heir to throne of Bessarovian Cossacks. So it can only be pulled out by King Arthurski? It's embedded in the egg of Og, a solid gold egg that Egghead wants for himself. Olga says, I'll pull the sword out and prove I'm the rightful queen. So that was Arthur's secret. She has the sword, so Egghead says, it's my turn. Oh, now let's get out of here fast before the Gotham City cops arrive. Oh, do not worry about cops, darling. My Cossacks are making cops burgers from them if they're Batinsky. Fine, fine, but let's get out of here anyway. <sighs> For a super genius, Egghead isn't too bright. Bring a wheelbarrow, grab a dolly, find a rolling table, an office chair, a shopping cart, something with wheels, Brainiac. Egghead spent the rest of his days in a bed in traction. Olga dumped him for the Riddler. The egg of Og and the bull bull scimitar? We'll get on it at once. Yes, we must recover the egg of Og and the bulbous scimitar. And we know exactly how he's going to accomplish that. Picara, I thought Egghead was behind bars and the Bessarovians had been sent back to... Bessarovia. Bessarovia didn't want the Bessarovians. The country refused them entry. So did every neighboring country. Egghead got off on a technicality. So we have to deal with them and recover the Egg of Og and the Beluga Scimitar. And we know exactly how they're going to do that. Oh, but I can hardly bring myself to call him again. Want me to call him? No, 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 wait, wait. You know I have to make a speech either before or while I go over to pick up the phone. Strength and courage were needed in Gotham City, Chief O'Hara. It's needed now. Bruce and Dick are in the study examining the life of Genghis Khan when the call comes in. I see. We'll be right down. To the bat poles. Those dizzy cops are in it over their heads again. To the bat poles. Doubt it was Egghead, Olga, and the Cossacks. None. And galloping through the streets they were, too. My department's had a dozen calls reporting a band of horsemen on the loose again. Uh-huh, they're on the loose. What are they doing that's illegal, other than steal the egg of Og and the Burmese scimitar? Holy Tartars. Unholy Tartars, Robin. Stealing scimitars and golden eggs from a museum is one thing. But when the average citizen on the street is in peril, something must be done and quickly. What peril? Have they made any threats? Have they harassed anybody? Or are they just riding around like they do? Like rounding the interlopers up and shipping them out. <laughs> That's just it. Nobody wants them. And what about Egghead? He's a very stupid man compounding all his felonies. Women like Olga have been the downfall of far wiser men than Egghead, Commissioner. Batman has turned into a raging misogynist this season. It's always the woman's fault, women have no business in crime fighting. What happened to you, Batman? In season one, the gun mall was always a poor, deluded creature who had been led astray by the evil man. Suddenly, it's just the opposite. The evil, seductress Olga led Egghead astray, as if he wasn't there already. I'm really not liking this. Mmm, you lovely evil woman, not a drop of mercy. <laughs> Azarnik, you are heartless, hairless man. I'm liking you more and more. Then again, in this case, he may have something. Egghead is so hot for her, he's pulling all these jobs to collect a big enough dowry to marry her. I must have big dowry. Everybody's got a nickname for it. What is next crime? We're heisting a certain vault full of dehydrated roe. Roe? As in boat? No, 
Roe is in fish egg, and fish egg is in caviar. The Tsar of Samarkand gave Gotham City 500 pounds of caviar worth $200 an ounce, and it's in a cold storage vault in the Gotham City Bank, at least for now. We won't mention the fact that Samarkand is a city, not a country, and it was part of the Soviet Union, so it's not likely to have a Tsar. Sure you won't have lunch with me, Daddy? I only wish I could, darling, but... Gotham City is in too much danger right now for the police commissioner to take time for a leisurely lunch, much as I'd like to. It's in my contract. If there's a supervillain in the city, I am not allowed to eat. Wish there was something I could do to help. There is something you can do. You can help. By going straight home and staying out of trouble. That's what good girls do. What kind of trouble would he expect her to get into? Whatever he's thinking, I'll bet it's miles from the truth. Barbara goes straight home, as he said. But this is no time for me to stay out of trouble or off the streets, right, Charlie? <laughs> However, I will change clothes before I go out again. Come on, keep me company. <laughs> Briefly. Hello, Hung Company, makers of egg drop soup. Cane's Candy Company, manufacturers of chocolate Easter eggs. Well, that's the last of them, Robin. We've alerted every company in Gotham City that's even remotely connected with eggs. Robin says, suppose he's going to do something not connected with eggs. And what about Olga? How does she fit into this? Wait a minute. What country is located next to Bessarovia? Samarkand, I think. Correct. And both countries lie quite close to the Black Sea. What do you know about the Black Sea, Robin? Well, I know it's really blue and green, not black. It's famous for its sturgeon, its caviar. Caviar! Right, caviar, fish eggs. And the king of Samarkand recently sent a gift of 500 pounds of dehydrated royal caviar to Gotham City. What's Gotham City going to do with 500 pounds of dehydrated caviar? Give it to people and let them eat it? No one could decide, so it's being stored in a specially cooled vault at the Gotham National Bank. The city can't decide what to do with 500 pounds of edible food. Your tax dollars at work, Gothamites. Now that we've moved most of our cash to our upstate branch, I feel much better. With Egghead in town, no bank is safe. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. What's that? That's Egghead, Olga, and the Cossacks right on cue. You read the script. Olga marches in, has her man disarm the guard, and the manager tells her, you're wasting your time. There's nothing of value left in the vault. <laughs> Perhaps you are forgetting the caviar. <gasps> Good heavens, the caviar! Old Cossack saying, do not make ha before eggs are safe. Wise advice, whatever she said. So we're all headed to the bank. Batgirl, Batman and Robin and Egghead. He gets there first. Whoa! Well, who did you expect, Batman? Where are Olga and her Cossacks? Explain. Oh, you're late. They've already left with my caviar. The bank manager has had enough of this. Shoot him! He's in league with that Cossack gang. Oh, no, no, don't shoot, please. At least that girl's found a one-man panic in the streets. Oh, protect me, Batgirl. That monster is going to shoot me. Keep one eye on the guard while this is happening. You, you, you won't let him shoot me? That depends. Where are the Cossacks you've been running around with? Oh, they've gone. On, Batgirl. They left before I came. Left for where, Egghead? I don't know. No? Well, they did mention their destination, but you see, they speak Bessarabian, and I don't speak the language. Perhaps there are some other languages you do know, Egghead. The language spoken by that guard's gun, for instance. He got a whiff of that paralyzing gas Batgirl ran into once. Oh, oh, please, you can't ask me to rat on my friends. Oh, yes, I can, and you'd better start ratting fast. Do you expect me, a, a, a respected arch criminal, to, to think on my friends like a... Like a common stool pigeon? Of course. All right, I'll do it. Can you think of anybody besides Vincent Price who could have pulled that off? He really seems sincere, so it's probably not a trap. Forget your burrow. Get on the back of my Batgirl cycle and show me where your hideout is. On that thing? But I, I might be extinguished. All right, then. Stay here. But I won't be responsible for any stray bullets that just might happen your way. Don't worry, he's completely frozen. He can't pull the trigger. No, wait for me! Shoot 
blocks down and to the left. At least his body is articulated. Yes, now pointed at Batman. Somebody take that thing away from him before he hurts himself. The manager explains everything, including Batgirl and Egghead. Ha sacks! Exactly, Robin. Batgirl is a match for any gang of ordinary hoodlums, but for a wild band of Bessarovian Cossacks, even her extraordinary abilities might not be enough. A few moments ago, he was telling her that crime fighting is men's work and she shouldn't even be there. Now he's going gaga over her extraordinary abilities. Just ask her on a date already. Well, this is it, Batgirl. We're going in there, Egghead, and no funny business. Oh, you can trust me, Batgirl. <sighs> I'd sooner trust a snake with fangs at both ends. Why doesn't she cuff him to something out here and then go inside? That's one less bad guy to think about. Good, then open the door and announce me, Egghead. And no tricks. Tricks? Oh, bad girl, how could you suspect me of trying to trick you? <sighs> inside, the Cossacks are dumping the caviar into a big freezing vat. Egghead comes in and announces Batgirl. Ostatje. Very funny. What is this joking, Egski? Oh, I'll give my little bride to be. She was here not two seconds ago. I brought her here so that we could ambush her. The ambush is on the other foot now, Egghead. The ambush is on the other foot. If you say so. She starts fighting the Cossacks. <laughs> She hit her head on a big pile of skin rugs and knocked herself out. Might want to look into a reinforced cowl. Now her hands are tied and the Cossacks are making her do the saber dance. Why doesn't she start kicking them like she was doing before? They're getting close enough and their swords are down. Perfect targets. There it is, Batman. Yes, Robin. It's fortunate that the turbo engine on her cycle uses a radioactive spark plug so that we were able to trace it here with our Bat Geiger counter. I could spend all day on what a radioactive spark plug is supposed to do, but I'd rather try and forget I ever heard the phrase radioactive spark plug. Now it's your turn to face the music, Olga. You have to love how they all stand around and talk before they get down to business. As I've said before, runtime is a cruel taskmaster. Did you see the way those swords went through that tabletop? What's it made of? Paper mache? Give him one for me, Batman! Better yet, run over there and untie her so she can join in. She watches her back about as well as Batman and Robin do. Maybe they gave her lessons. He throws her into the caviar vat where now she's both drowning and freezing. I'm drowning! Huh? I'm also freezing! I just said that. Olga and the rest make their escape. Uh, they almost turned me into a human hors d'oeuvre. She should have worn her thermal bat skivvies. And thanks to me, they've escaped. Perhaps crime fighting is better left to the men, that girl. Perhaps not. But this isn't exactly women's work. But I'm no ordinary woman, Batman. Agreed. Just ask her out. Batman is really getting on my nerves with this men's work stuff. It's coming out of nowhere. 
Last time he was whining because she rescued them and sort of mule that they can fight their own battles. Now he's just flat out telling her to go away. And the way he looks at her, it's probably because he doesn't want her to get maimed or killed before he can nail her. Whatever the reason, I hope he gets it out of his system before next week. It's lucky you had me surround that building once more, Batman. Olga and Egghead ran right into the paddy wagon again, only this time they didn't want her. They seem to have a flair for that. Hey, it saves the police a lot of time and effort. I just saw the strangest looking car outside. It, it was sort of greenish gold and had what looked like whiskers on its front fenders. A car with whiskers? Sounds like Catwoman's kitty car to me, Batman. Catwoman was driving it. And if I'm not mistaken, that arch criminal, the Joker, was a passenger. Why, now that you mention it, there were two arch criminals in the car. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. In a car with whiskers. She noticed the whiskers, but not the cat ears or the gigantic tail. Gotham City crime fighting. More trouble than the Cape Crusaders have ever known. Excuse me? In the movie, there were four of them. I'd call that more trouble than this. Vincent Price is always fun to watch. He made his reputation doing horror and suspense, but he didn't take himself too seriously. And I love Anne Baxter, bad accent and all. She has a presence that I can't explain, but it steals every scene she's in. I won't say any more about Batman the Mansplainer. As I said, I hope we got it out of our system. Without Batgirl and her radioactive spark plug, yes, it is very difficult to say that, they wouldn't have found Egghead's hideout. Batgirl put herself on the line to take them down, and Batman brushes her off, literally and figuratively. And I do not want to know where he keeps that whisk broom. I'm Irving, and I'm an Adamaniac.